welcome to another studio vlog. So this is actually editing Emma talking. Um, I know we're kind of like completely different people even though I'm filming like from the same angle that I always film at and I'm pretty sure I look the same but yeah this is editing Emma from the future. So I was looking through all the footage from this week and I realised that I talked quite a lot about Etsy and there's also quite a lot of packaging. So yeah, firstly I just wanted to say thank you um, because that means that I've been having more sales in my Etsy shop. So yeah, thank you very much. So I thought I'd make this whole vlog about Etsy and packaging and I also thought it'd be really fun to share kind of my journey so far. I'm still a very small Etsy shop but there's still like milestones along the way and I thought it'd be fun to look back at like the first products that I made and like my first sort of sales. So this video is going to be like a mixture of different things. It's going to be kind of casual, still you're going to have like the vlog style stuff um, and like the packing that I've done through the week and me like chatting to the camera and then you're gonna have me sort of butting in <laughs> and adding a bit more like information but yeah this is just a sort of behind the scenes look of a very small Etsy shop and yeah I'm somebody that doesn't know completely what they're doing I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go along and yeah the kind of main takeaway that I wanted to tell you is if you want to start an Etsy shop or if you sort of have one but you kind of feel bad that it's not doing very well or that you're not really sure what you're doing like it's okay because we can kind of figure these things out together yeah as i've been having some more orders recently i've started packing on monday and thursday they're gonna be like my dedicated days for all the packaging and posting and when I say I've had more orders don't imagine like crazy amounts um I mean I was getting hardly any orders before so this vlog starts on a Monday and you're gonna see me set up my desk to get some packing supplies out but yeah so let's get into the vlog so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just move all of my packing stuff onto the desk and sort of set up like a kind of packing station so we need this is recycled and recyclable tissue paper we've got some freebie postcards that I'm putting in every order we've got my thank you postcards which I've got that on the back cardboard stickers we've got two different types of envelopes these ones are card backed envelopes uh, and they're good for like flat things if somebody just buys a sticker and then these ones are like sort of padded and they've just got kind of like paper padding inside them and they're good for if somebody gets something that's a little bit bulkier like a pin or something and a pen I'm very sad that my beloved cat pen has run out of ink i need to um i need to get some more ink to replace it the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna print out all of the packing slips for a little while i've been thinking like what's the point in a packing slip and it was actually tom my husband that pointed out that the packing slip is more for myself packing than it is for the customer because i can tick off what they've ordered as I pack it to like double check I've got everything so yeah I'm gonna print all of those off let me check if I've got the printer plugged in oh I'm absolutely melting right now it's so warm right so I have got nine orders I think what I do need is some maybe smaller envelopes like this for if somebody just orders like one pin or like one smaller item yeah maybe something that kind of is the same size as like the postcards and um, so like an A5 but yeah I guess I can kind of fold this over I've just made it a little bit smaller like that so the next thing I do is I just write the person's name and what they ordered so like one times pin I'm not writing out the whole address because I'm gonna print the labels afterwards but yeah so I've done that that is on a pile and then move on to the next one 
Right, one bluebell cat. Bluebell cat. I've started to keen off orders, um, particularly if someone has placed quite a large order. I've decided that if they've got multiple orders, I'm gonna like tick it, so like if there's two orders, tick it twice. I'm like double checking that I've got everything. I don't know if this is even gonna show up because it's so massive. But yeah, this massive, <laughs> humongous thing of bubble wrap, I actually saved from when we bought the mirror that's in our dining room downstairs, it came wrapped up in all this bubble wrap and I like wrapped it all up because I thought I could save it. <laughs> it might take me a little while to get through it, but I like wrapping up the pins just because obviously they've got like the glass on the back, which you know, you don't want them scratching each other. Good finds only patch. Okay, so I've packaged up all the parcels and now I'm going to print the labels using like Royal Mail's click and drop service. Um, also, I'm gonna leave a link to Lula Rocks. Um, her name's actually Lucy, um, but she has a shop and a YouTube channel called Lula Rocks and she did a video that was all about click and drop and it was so helpful so I will leave that in the description. But yeah, one of the things I didn't realise is it actually integrates with like your Etsy shop or your Shopify and so all the orders and all the details like the addresses and everything will already be on the click and drop website which is so handy. So yes, I'm going to sort these out into like different sort of weights and stuff. Um, I'm also thinking that I would some at some point like to get some smaller envelopes or maybe boxes might be better. Obviously I've just made the cat pins. Yeah, so that's why I seem to have quite a few that are just like one pin. And I've tried to make the package as small as I can. So it's nice and secure. So um, yeah, some smaller envelopes or boxes would be ideal. But yeah, so I'm just gonna weigh these. I'm also trying to kind of work out what different combinations of things weigh. So I might start sort of like keeping track of how much like one pin weighs and how much a pin and like a sticker sheet will weigh. So I think I'm going to do, I've got one order for a woman in Sweden, so I'm going to post that one first. One of the things that's really lovely about being a small Etsy shop owner is you notice every time somebody from like a new country or new place orders. Recently I had an order from Sweden and another order from Russia. Yeah, because I haven't had loads of orders, I kind of remember where I've sent things to and so I get like really excited if it's a country that I haven't sent um, something to before and it's just nice to sort of think about me packaging something that's gonna like end up you know somewhere else around the world I don't know I, it just seems crazy that you can kind of make a connection with people that you wouldn't like meet in real life I think there's just something kind of special about that look I got my first order from Japan that's like so exciting so hello if that was you that ordered that and yeah thank you very much it's just really exciting to kind of think about my orders going to different places in the world and I think this is the first order that I've actually sent to Japan so yeah yay happy dance thank you so like I said my shop is really tiny I actually started it in 2016 and the first thing that I sold was these Christmas cards, which these are actually packaged up in a set. 
and it was a set of three Christmas cards. The I'm looking on my Etsy shop and the first order that I made was from my sister Lucy. So yeah, thank you Lucy very much. Lucy is like one of my biggest fans. Also, I think I mentioned Lula Rocks in this video. Not the same Lucy, <laughs> just, just in case you were wondering. I came up with this idea of having like a fairy and a nutcracker on a tree that had like come to life. And I still really like these designs. I think they're really cute. The year before actually, I had made some Christmas cards. I actually made this design, which is me and Tom building a giant snowman, which was based on a photo because we did build a giant snowman. Not quite this big, but pretty giant. And I made these and just sent them out to family. Oh, this is us on the back. Yeah, so I made these, I think, the year before so I think 2015 but I didn't sell them and then I think probably yeah my sister my biggest fan was saying to me like oh you should make an Etsy shop so I decided to do it and I made these Christmas cards and I think I only had like four orders were all from family then I didn't sell anything else in my shop that was the first thing and then next year I made some more Christmas cards yeah so these were the Christmas cards that I made next year. I might just open these so you can see them. And these ones I'm still like super proud of the design. It's slightly different design to what I'm doing at the moment because I sort of made them, I did like paper cutouts, but then I like did some stuff to them like digitally on the computer. It's sort of like a combination of things. So I did five designs. I did squirrels, badgers, hedgehogs, fox and owls and yeah i i love these so much still so these i sold in my shop in 2017 and this was the first time that i actually got an order from somebody that i didn't know in real life i knew them like online but like i didn't actually properly know them and and that <laughs> that was very exciting i was like wait somebody that's not actually my friend or my family has bought something on my shop that was yeah if if you own a shop that's gonna be like a big kind of milestone so i had like 12 orders which you know for me felt like kind of kind of quite big after that i made my mermaid pins for the first two years i just made christmas cards and just sold a couple then in 2018 I made these mermaid reading pins and these are still actually quite popular on my shop because people love reading and people love mermaids so it's kind of like a good like crossover and at the same time I also ordered these dinosaur baking badges and yeah these are still popular on my shop as well I've still got people um, placing orders for these and I think he is so cute but yeah I'm um I'm enjoying learning as I go my um yeah my journey so far on Etsy has it's been quite slow but I'm starting to feel like things are feeling more like me I'm really happy with the products that I'm producing at the moment and I've got lots of ideas for new products as well and yeah I've ordered some more pins that are coming soon Good morning, it is Thursday morning. But yeah, I'm just gonna be packing some orders. I've got eight more orders that have come in. But yeah, I just wanted to say again, thank you so much if you've bought something from my shop or even if you've just liked something. Um, yeah, my shop is doing, like, it's doing well for me. I'm still like quite a relatively like small shop. I can't remember the last time that I'd already posted orders during the week and then I had like more orders coming through so yeah that's really lovely okay I need to concentrate while so I'm, I'm writing the name I'm gonna do it wrong but yeah I'm just I'm quite a small shop um compared to a lot of people but I can definitely like see the growth and yeah I think it's important to like celebrate those small wins somebody's sending someone a birthday present so I'm writing them a little note on um I give these 
postcards away free so I'm writing the notes on the other side but yeah it's really sweet um, when somebody sends somebody a present in the post by the way I have got a lot of free postcards still to give away we're down to there <laughs> these are from Moo yeah I just they're a little bit on the shiny side for my liking which I think I've mentioned but I still think that they're really great but I just decided to pop them in people's orders um, alongside like the thank you um, card as well Ah, my parcel stack is collapsing <laughs> so I spoke a little bit in the vlog about sort of the packaging that I've got and kind of how I want to change it up I have got one package to open which I'm going to open now which is part of the new sort of packaging that I'm doing um, and I'm expecting one more thing which yeah if it arrives in time then I will put it in the vlog but if not then you might have to see it in the next video so I have got some brown tape and then this can be like you don't need to take this off this can be like recycled I've ordered some very very blue <laughs> very blue tissue paper and this is also recycled tissue paper so I thought it might be fun when I get my boxes to have some kind of like more colorful tissue paper if the boxes come in time then I will show you how I will be packaging those up so luckily for the block the other package has arrived so that's good okay so I've got these boxes which I'm gonna have to oh this looks exciting right I've got two different sizes so this says it's C6 okay and then this one is C5 so I think that means that one is like A5 yeah and then this one is going to be like A6. So, right, let's try and see if I can work out how to like make these into boxes. I really need to um, hurry up and sort out the spare room that we're decorating so I can put all the uh, products and also all this packaging <laughs> in there. So at the moment, it's just I have to somehow fit it in this tiny little room. Right, let's see if we can work out how to do this so oh so these bits break off this is not a tutorial on how to fold box this is like harder than it looks that and then i think this bit that flat pops in there doesn't it aha right one side done Yay! Oh, I've worked it out. <laughs> okay, so this yeah, this is quite exciting. I've I've made up the little box, and yeah, so this I got it this size because I wanted to be able to fit like a postcard inside it. I reckon I could actually fit three pins in that quite nicely. Yeah, so I'll have these small boxes for if somebody if somebody just orders a pin, and then if somebody orders like stickers and a pin then I think I'll put it in this like bigger padded envelope and yeah and then maybe if somebody orders like loads of things and it's quite bulky then I might try out the bigger boxes as well but yeah this is quite exciting I'm glad that this has come so you can see it in this video um I thought whilst I'm here I may as well package something up okay so to test it out i'm gonna print off like one order that i've got all right so this is going to beverly so beverly you are the first one that i'm testing out so beverly has ordered a tulip cat and a bluebell cat obviously this is quite massive for this tiny box and this is the first one so i need to work out how big to do it i'm thinking should i cut it in half I 
that. <laughs> Just so pretty. Ooh, see, that looks nice. Now I'm wondering. I'm thinking maybe I'll use my sticker on the tissue paper. What does that look like? That looks quite cute actually. So, I'm going to close it. Yeah, so all I need to do now is weigh this and put the postage label. But yeah, these are the new little boxes and I think they look really cute. So I'm, I'm glad that they showed up so I could show you on the vlog. So you've seen lots of different packaging options. But yeah, like I said, if you're not completely happy with your packaging, like, don't worry. You can kind of change things as you go, which is what I am doing. I like this tape as well. It's really nice. So I will leave the links to all the different packagings that I have used um, so you can go and check that out in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog, um, it was a little bit different but maybe it wasn't so much different and yeah I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more of the behind the scenes of my Etsy shop and seeing what it's like at the moment because I think things will obviously change and it's nice to have you on this journey. And I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week. I'm sending you lots of love and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Thank you for coming. I know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile.